Hey everyone, prepared Brad again. I uh, just made a brooder for my quail that I have ordered. Um, I wanted to make a short video to kind of walk you through that process. I'm ordering eggs from James Marie Farms. They're out of Louisiana. I'm getting their Faro quail, which is actually a, a jumbo quail. They average 10 to 12 ounces. Um, I have some Bob White quail now, but they're only about six. Uh, spoke with the gentleman at James Murray Farms for about an hour. He was extremely informative, went through everything. What I'm looking for is meat birds that produce the most eggs and that will produce the largest eggs. Uh, his recommendation was actually the code JM. And um, basically you can go on his website and under the meat birds you'll see it. It kind of looks like a Bob White quail, um, but it's about twice as big, lays about 300 eggs a year. <laughs> and the eggs are bigger than than the bob white quail on average so it's really the best for for all go rounds if you're actually looking for meat or you're looking for eggs so the actual brooder that i made i bought the 50 gallon quart from walmart and it's see-through that way i can keep an outside light on in the room and as the brooder light goes on and off because it's set to the temperature control regulator in the top right hand side that box there um you just saw it cut off they still have light inside so it's not going from light to total darkness and then back to light and total darkness now the box on the right and the actual brooder i got the designs from a youtube channel called slightly rednecked uh, chris is the one that does that and he has models for doing both of these i copied off of him just as you're watching this video to try and figure out what to do as well that's where i got these ideas from um, so the box on the right like i said it's a it's a temperature control regulator and basically i've got it set at 98 degrees it turns off when it reaches 98 and then when it goes back down to 96 it'll turn back on um, it's an ink bird itc 1000 f is in frank that goes in that box you can buy that from amazon about 20 25 dollars including shipping if you have all the other parts laying around your house you can make that box on the top right for about 25 if you have to buy everything it's about 60 dollars the brooder itself the tote is 20 at walmart uh, the two red 250 watt lamps are you get a two pack for about eight or nine dollars at tractor supply and the lamp itself is is about eight or nine dollars from tractor supply as well really all, all i did here guys was i cut the top half one half off of the a lid um, but i actually did it inside you don't want to cut it all the way to the edge because it still has to go down and sit on the inside it still has to lock on so you want to actually give yourself a little bit of room here to be able to put this hardware cloth up from the bottom drill two holes on side by side squares and then i just use zip ties to go up through clamp it down do that about 12 times going around and you can play with it by adding paper or cardboard to insulate the heat and reduce the heat loss that comes in and goes out i cover it up to give it the maximum heat that goes in so i could run through as many cycles as possible so you can see how it works it just hit 98 degrees so again it just turned off um, you can see the thermometer is this little cord that runs down it's at quail height through here the chips i have in are the big chips you don't want to use the small real fine chips because they can get dusted up when the quail are running around can actually get lodged in their nostrils and it can suffocate them so that's that's another little tidbit there um, but basically you know i just set it up it's two months away i've got my incubator up here i'll get my birds um, this is beginning of march of 2017 about the beginning of april i'll get my eggs i'll incubate them and toward the end of april I'll have them ready to go in here. I want to do the biggest brooder that I can. That way, if I get a larger batch or a future larger batch, I'll have plenty of room for growth. It'll look tremendously large when I put one day's one day old birds in it because the, they just won't fill up much. But when you're going to keep them in there for four weeks, by the time the end of that four weeks comes, they're going to be crammed for space. And instead of doing a smaller one, like was, which was the original video, um, and then come to a point to where they grow up and I don't have enough room and then I have to go build another entire tote. I have to build another temperature control regulator and buy another lamp. You know, I, I just wanted to, you know, pay an extra $10 for the larger, larger tote and, you know, be able to, to utilize as much space as I can. The main thing that I can tell you guys is you're supposed to start at 95 to 100 degrees the first week and then go down five degrees each week after that. Um, until about four weeks you can kind of cut it off 
but I've got it set at 98, which you know everybody says 95 to 100. I just kind of put it in the middle. Once I get my birds in here, I'm really going to check them closely for the first several hours. If they're all huddled underneath of the lamp, they need more warmth. I'm going to turn the temperature up a little bit. If they're evenly distributed throughout the, the brooder, I've got my temperature correct. If they're all the way on the other side, then it's too hot and they're trying to run away from the light, and I'll turn the light down. So although the 95 to 100 is a benchmark, 5 degrees each week after that, um, use your birds and let them tell you, you know, they, they've, they've been doing this for a million years. Um, there is no regulator in, you know, out in the wild when they're in a nest their their parents don't have digital thermometers or anything like that. So it's not as exact as, as a lot of people would say there, there's some room for error there, but just pay attention to your birds and they'll tell you exactly what they need or, or what they don't need. Um, that's pretty much about all the information that I have. Slightly Rednecked is the YouTube channel that I really strongly encourage if you have rabbits or quail that you subscribe to that channel for his information. James Marie Farms is the place in Louisiana. I saw it came very highly recommended on a lot of blogs. I called, the guy spoke to me for an hour. Very informative. Um, they have a lot of breeds. They've been doing it family owned for 50 years. So they were good enough for me to make my order through. So um, I will keep you guys updated with more posts as I get my eggs in, as I incubate them, and then when I move them over to the brooder so we can kind of see where we're going to be there. Um, but it's at least going to be probably about a month before I start the next incubator video because that's what I'm going to get my eggs. So leave comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Hit a like if you like it and subscribe to my channel. Um, other than that, I'll look forward to putting the next video up when it comes. Thanks.